the first presentation that we're going to talk about today is looking at fresco applications for overcoming PACLO in the irrigation water. And there's been an increased uh, awareness that in some cases where people recirculate irrigation water, that we're running into problems of that paclobutrosol still being there in the water, and it comes back and affects growth of those plants. And so Fine Americas wanted an experiment done to see whether or not a fresco application, because fresco is a combination of GA and BA, helps stimulate growth, whether or not we could offset that effect with that application and overcome that PACLO in the recirculated irrigation water. So I'm Brian Whipker. I am the Floriculture Extension Specialist here at NC State University and have been here since uh, about 19, I'm, I'm starting my 20th year down here at NC State. So what we had for the objectives for this was to mimic the irrigation water concentration of a low dose of paclobutrazole when we were growing wax begonias. And then we were going to go through and we applied a foliar spray of fresco to try to counteract those anti-GA, that dwarfing effect that the pack load provided with the irrigation water. And that's what we looked at in this experiment. We looked at plants in this first experiment. It was only begonias and it was super Olympia rose. And we used 144 cell size plugs and we put them in 1801 packs. And those packs contained Baffert or 1P, and we had six replications. We fertilized as needed with 100 part per million N from 17417, which is a basic feed. It has, uh, it, it's really more of a, a neutral feed. So it has primarily nitrate fertilizer in it and very little phosphorus and very little ammoniacal nitrogen that might affect growth. And then we, we mix that fertilizer and we included in there a concentration of paclobutrazole, and this is in parts per billion. And we used Piccolo 10 XC, and it was either none, that's a zero, another tank had five parts per billion, 10 and 50. So we had the fertilizer with that PGR then added to it to mimic what was happening in some of the recirculation uh, systems because some work that was done by the University of Florida indicated a lot of the, the levels did, in fact, come up roughly in those, those different categories, 5, 10, and 50 parts per billion. And then we did the irrigations. It was the fall, so you can see the irrigation dates, and there's the set point temperatures that we used for the experiment. So now that we have set up what we're adding in paclobutrazole in the water continually, then we went and looked at fresco rates. And those were applied as a foliar spray. And we either did zero, one, three, or six part per million. Now we applied it twice. Just keep that in mind. So in reality, the total concentration was zero, two, six, and 12 part per million. And those applications varied on, on a weekly basis, October 23rd and 30th. And then we recorded data a few weeks later, looking at height and diameter. So what did we find? So first of all, the question might come up is, what is the effect or what are the effects of having paclobutrazole in your irrigation water? How does it affect growth? And you can see here the same set of plants, the top set of slide is the top view of the same plants that has the side view. And you can see as you go with a paclobutrazole of zero up to 50 part per billion, not million, billion, you can see that there is indeed effect on plant growth. And that was, in fact, what the growers were having a challenge with. And so that's what we're trying to overcome is that uh, PGR effect that's in that recirculation water. So here's the results when we looked at Fresco of applying it to overcome the PGR effect. So look at the bottom of the slide in blue. The rates of Fresco are, are listed. So the first column, zero, one, three, and six. And keep in mind, we applied it twice. So, so again, it was zero, a total of two, a total of six, and a total of 12. And you can look across the board that now let's look at the rows working from the bottom. That, that bottom row had no um, 
Paclo in the water. The next set had five part per billion of Paclo in the water and then 10 and 50. So we had a four by four experiment and you can see the effects that went on with the plant. The first point I want to make, especially for people who are not using recirculation water is, well, because you might say, well, I'm not interested in this, but sometimes you do want to, to stimulate growth and that bottom line will tell you how much growth stimulation you could use or get away with with an application. And so you can see that you can bulk the plants up a little. Now, this bulking goes over time. It does not happen all at once. And a little bulking is good. Uh, a lot, you can have too much growth. And so the magical point is, is that one to three in most cases. I would not go up to six. Definitely 10 is too much. And so it's better to apply, as the label says, apply it, wait a few days to see if there's new growth and then come back in and apply it again if you need to at that point. So that's the take home for people who are trying to stimulate growth there at the bottom. Now, then you can look across the board at five parts per billion uh, pack low. If you start getting the three part per million of Fresco, the one with the blossoms there, the third one over, and the same thing for the 10, and you might have to do a little higher rate when you're starting to look at the 50. And so I, I kind of put the brackets around here of looking at you know at the bottom if you're stimulating growth and then working your way up is a, is a starting point. So while my rates are going to vary from yours just because you're going to have to figure out how much pack load you have in your water, a, a slow approach of one application, see where the, the growth is and repeat it, would work. And so the, the, the bottom line is we can offset the effects of the pack load in the irrigation water by making an application of fresco. So that's the good news that we have. Here's the same plants, but then from the top view, so you can kind of see what's going on. Again, the bottom row, if you look at the fresco at zero and the paclo at zero, and that's the untreated, look how much growth we stimulated with one part per million applied twice of fresco. So we got some good growth occurring there with that plant. And you can look at across the board, and I also then highlighted these with the brackets of some potential rates. So you can kind of see what's going on. And so we were very excited about the results because we, we got some growth control that we were looking for, or I should say growth stimulation that we were looking for to offset that growth control that came from that Paclip Butrazole, even at those low doses in the parts per billion. So here's some caution, you know, just like anything, a little works great, too much, uh, can get you in trouble. And so if you have too high of a rate here in Begonia, as you can see, it's a little more stretchy that's going on there. And you can also see that there is some lighter growth. And that's that's a little high of a rate. Now, of course, uh, a PGR company that also sells other PGRs, they're glad to sell you another application of of Paclofutrazol to try to control that if you need it. So you can uh, you can get into trouble of having to go back and forth if you overdo it. So again, but the sweet spot is one to three parts per million of fresco applied, and then you see if you get your growth stimulation. If not, come back within a week, and that usually works for most plants to overcome a PGR a overdose application. So we looked at this experiment with wax begonias. We see that, in fact, as what's been reported by growers, that the Paclo in the irrigation water will result into smaller plants. You have the effect. In mind you, begonias, vinca, and pansies are some of the most sensitive plants, the PGRs, and that's why they were selected. Other plants, you actually might appreciate that control. And I'd go as far as to say that you've already you're a big operation and you have that paclobutrazol in the water, you're already adjusting your production system of, of assuming you have that paclobutrazol because you are getting that growth control on a continual basis. So I, I've already basically said this, that if you have lower doses like five parts per billion paclo, one or two applications of one part per million probably is good. And you probably need to look around three parts per million million of fresco if you have that higher rate regime of 10 to 50 parts per million. And so that works great for, for begonias. Now, this was a repeat study. I haven't shown these slides. We did that work this spring 
it's a little complicated. So we're going to look at this for a second. So the upper left represents no paclobutrazole in the irrigation water. That's the first number, zero. And then the plus, whatever the next number is, is whether or not Fresco was applied. So that top row on the upper left is no Paclo in the irrigation water in parts per billion and no Fresco. So that's just a naturally growing plant. Then the next plant, zero plus one, had one part per million Fresco and then three parts and six parts. Now the difference of this study over the other one, the bottom row only had one application and the top row had two. So in the reality, the bottom row had zero, one, three, and six total fresco, and the top row had zero, two total, six total, and 12 total. You can kind of see the effects that are going on. So, you know, again, if you want to stimulate growth, that's where you start coming in and adding fresco either once or twice. Then the next set, the upper set to the right, represents if there was five parts per billion uh, paclobutrazole in the water and the effects. And so the one thing to keep in, in mind, the bottom one that says zero plus zero, that one was had no PGRs and no fresco. So that's a true untreated control. And I did not follow along with the same photo regime over time on some of these other crops, unfortunately. But you can, here you can see what the untreated control looks like. And you can see also there that as the amount of PGR increases, you can get some more growth. The same thing with when there's 10 parts per billion of a Paclo in the, in the water, you're going to have to get a higher rate. And so it kind of confirms. Now, things get a little tougher when you get up there that 50 part per billion range. That's a lot of growth control. And that is that might be a limitation. You're going to have to play around with a little higher rate and probably a little more a double applications going on with the plant. Also, we did it on, on Finca, and you can see the same effects here. Just keep in mind that I did not have the true untreated control in the bottom row left side of all those photos. They do vary, so they were affected. So, But you can kind of see that some of the sweet spots that you might look at for growth control. And then finally, here's pansies. So the same effect going on. Again, when you start getting up to 50 part per billion, you have a very difficult time overcoming that paclobutrazole. But if you're looking down at the 5 to 10 part per billion, uh, this, this works pretty well for overcoming that effect for, for what you have with the plants. 